Picks. Hello friend, it's Steve Dangle here and welcome to another edition of Steve's Hat Picks where we look at the best from around the NHL over the past week and this is all playoff action baby, it's where heroes are born. There are all kinds of names that we give to hockey players. There are grinders, shutdown defensemen, offensive defensemen, playmakers, and snipers. Braden Point is a closer. So often in the biggest moments it's Braden Point who ends up ending your night and in this one, he ends the all Florida battle against the Panthers by ending the series. The Chernak down into the Florida zone. Kucherov on it. Now point. Braden Point moves in and scores! 3-0 Lightning! Well, Tampa Bay gets a save at one end of the ice by Andre Vasilevsky. And then the skill of Tampa's top line. Kucherov, a good job pulling up, waits for some help. Here comes Point. What a play through the stick of Mackenzie Wieger and then the patience. Watch this. Under the stick, patience, wait out, Spencer Knight. Fun fact, the Tesla coil in that building that goes off after every goal is actually powered by Braden Point. So often it's a big shot block or you're just trying to clear the zone, just trying to close out the game and close out the series. Look at the Panthers' reaction after this goal. The message that Braden Point sent was loud and clear. You're done. Braden dangles. That's a hat pick. For our next hat pick, we go to the Penguins Islanders series. I don't know everyone, you're gonna have to leave a comment in the comment box down below. I gotta speak to producer Drew about this. Is this the first play, or a very rare play, that is both a hat pick and a dang it at the same time? Because here they are, the New York Islanders and the Pittsburgh Penguins, such a tight series. Pittsburgh with the lead, and the Islanders score twice in just 13 seconds of play. First, we start with the first goal. Battling, they never quit. They bend, but they don't break. Here's Bailey, in front, scores! Brock Nelson, tag in! That's what I'm talking about. They just don't break. Barry Trotz talked about it, that your opposition is gonna push a little bit back, but you've gotta get to your game and get to it quickly. And Bavillier, all that speed coming across the middle of the ice, he dishes to the outside, and then coming across the hero of game five. Okay, okay, so it's tied, it's tied. It's still not a big deal. You don't have a winner with a tie game, but then the Penguins ice the puck and Islanders fans, I, I think the hat pick might belong to them. And the crowd is loving it. The old Barnes electrified again. They're saying to Sorokin, hey, you know what? You had our back in game five, and now we're not gonna let this slide here, okay? You've let in three, we're gonna get back in this game. And the Penguins, three leads, and they're all gone. And you're back at threes with 11.15 here to go in the second period. What a great pass, huh? With the loudest that Islanders fans have to offer, seconds later, 13 seconds later, this happens. 65% capacity, 100% energy, scores! Puck! And the Islanders take the lead! And they're going crazy on the island now! How about that? A guy who's been shutting down Sidney Crosby and has done a marvelous job of that now chips it on the offense. The importance of face-offs. I mentioned earlier that the Islanders have been winning the face-off. Not only does Pajol get in there. And just like that, the Islanders go from losing to winning, close out the game, close out the series, they eliminate the Pittsburgh Penguins and move on to the second round to take on the Boston 
Bruins. I said it on Twitter. I've been saying it more and more recently. I am drinking the New York Islanders Kool-Aid. In the most recent Dang It's video, I called the Islanders Dang It Generators. They're so disciplined and yet they're so hard hitting and their goaltending's great. They just drag the worst out of their opponents. And lots of people, myself included, have been talking about, oh, well, this team, they're not the greatest offensively. And I mean, looking at uh, goal scoring around the NHL this season, it's true by the numbers. Well, here's the number for you. Two goals in 13 seconds. I did get some chirps like, well, Tristan Jari was garbage. That's the only reason they won. How come it's never the Islanders goalie? Actually, didn't we have Varlamov and Dangitz last week? Okay, why is it so rarely the Islanders goalie? The New York Islanders, man, stop sleeping on them. Stop it. It's been years. Maybe they're on to something. That's a hat pick. Moving on to Carolina, Nashville. Uh, Martin Natchez, just show it. For Carolina, stepping through the neutral zone. Good work. It's Natchez spinning around. He scores! Oh, we've seen that before, but this one is the biggest wraparound goal of Natchez's career. His second of the game. You just don't have an answer for this type of speed. Forsberg caught flat-footed. Get Saros to come in outside the net. And he stuffs this thing like he did in Columbus, like he did once again later on in the regular season with plenty of room to spare. For crying out loud, Martin, what year do you think it is? You're not supposed to be able to score wraparound goals like that. For the 22 year old, he's already played in parts of four different NHL seasons. This is really only his second full one though. And Carolina just seems to find these guys and they collect them, hold on to them, and then it's wave after wave of offense. What do you do? Rafty play from the youngster. That, that guy's in his second full NHL season. And there are guys up for the Calder this year who are older than him. What a play. Hey, that's a hat pick. And staying with the series and staying with the Hurricanes, Alex Nedeljkovic, two on O. Benning checked by Stahl. Crowd lively here, and a two on O. Trennan gets it back. What a save by Nedeljkovic. Oh, and he robbed Trennan. Very nearly made it three to one. What a great save, Nedeljkovic. You know, if you never watched a full game this season and all you watched was dang it's and hat picks videos, you would assume that scoring a two on O goal was impossible. Trennan absolutely robbed by the Gumby legs of Alex Nedeljkovic. I, I don't know how goalies do it. How do you do it? Out of all the big team sports, there are two positions in particular where I'm like, you, you might all be Martians, I don't know. Pitchers, I have no idea how anybody does that for more than two or three years. And goalies, goalies who need to be like the most flexible people in the entire world get better as they age. Can, can you explain that? And Carolina Hurricanes fans would offer you an answer. Ned, that's all they would say, Ned. That's a hat pick. But they're not all Hurricanes hat picks in this series. Matt Duchesne, it, oh, did, did you hear that? That was the sound of producer Drew, who's a Colorado Avalanche fan, almost throwing up. That was years ago. You're in the second round, calm down. Just show the double overtime goal, okay? This job against him on that play. Looped, Duchesne tries to track it down. Duchesne moves it. He scores! Yes, sir! Matt Duchesne! It starts with the lob pass. Look at Yossi battle to get to that position, and Matt Duchesne tracks that out of thin air. Nedeljkovic goes for the poke check, and Duchesne flips it back the other way. Look at this move right here. Flips it over the arm of Nedeljkovic in the back of the net, and it's game over. The series, Carolina 2, Nashville 1. Okay, what was the most impressive part of that goal? Multiple choice, you get four choices. Number one, his hands. He receives the puck in midair and has a pretty filthy dangle in there too. Number two, the shot, roofing it. Number three, the fact that it was in double overtime at home or four, the fact that Matt Duchesne uh, stayed onside. That was for you, Drew, I just threw it in there. Tell you what, that checks a lot of boxes. That's a hat pick. For our next hat pick, we go to the Vegas, Minnesota series. And this week in funny notes in producer Drew's email, Mark Stone is an animal. Well, let's see, show it. Pulled off the boards and lost it. Here's Mark Stone on a breakaway. Short-handed, Stone scores! It's all Mark Stone, it's three nothing Vegas. Well, there's a man that knows how to celebrate a goal. Just an outstanding play defensively. Again, Vegas wins the puck battle. Watch the anticipation of Stone right there. 
little slip up, and he's gone. And he is faster with the puck than without. And what a play by Mike Mark Stone. Another deep for a goal for the Vegas Golden Knights. If you're a young kid out there and you don't get drafted in the NHL draft, don't worry about it. You got a chance to play. This guy went in the sixth round when he was drafted. You can see he's just made himself better and better and better year after year after year. That's the kind of goal that just makes you go, how is this seven? Short handed, just barreling down on you. What do you do if you're the goaltender and then you see him without the stick after and he does actually look like an animal, but it's not an animal, it's animal from the Muppets. Ah! Did any of you have the old McDonald's animal hockey doll where he's wearing the all-star jersey? I know, they're pretty old, right? Like they had those a long time ago. Do you know exactly how long ago? How old is Mark Stone? Because it's like someone an enchanted one it came to life and made the NHL Mark Stone that's a hat pick not easy to beat those Vegas Golden Knights and another hat pick goes to Cam Talbot for helping the Minnesota Wild get to seven games game five outshot 40 to 14 they pull off the win anyway and then in game six the guy gets the shutout it's kind of unreal how much Cam Talbot has been passed around and like how little he was thought of after his departure from the Oilers. Will he ever be a starter again? Uh, yeah, and a pretty good one. That's a hat pick. For our last hat pick, speaking of things that are trendy this season, Alex Petrangelo, a defender with the save. Goes to Foligno. Back for Dumba, drive. That was blocked, loose puck, Erickson up. It trickles right through the blue. It was sitting on the doorstep, but Minnesota could not punch it by Flurry. Icing against the Wild with a minute 49 left. The Wild got the puck past Flurry, and it was sitting on the goal line, but nobody home to punch it in. Flurry had no clue where the puck is, could have very easily knocked that puck in with the butt end of his stick as he laid down. Unfortunately for the Wild, he just went over a stick and it's sitting on the goal line. Petrangelo put his hand, open hand, on this puck. He didn't squeeze it. He just kind of knocked it out of there. If he puts his hand on top of that, that's definitely a penalty shot. Great play there. The Vegas Golden Knights with a two-goal lead with just under two minutes to go. That used to be the game is over and now you're like, maybe with 20 seconds left, I'll breathe. But Alex Petrangelo, stickless, laying it all on the line, makes the huge save with the glove. That's a hat pick. Now, as promised in the Dang It's video, the Leafs Hab series. Here's vintage Jason Spezza with a, oh my goodness! Kerfoot able to hold the zone. Here's Nylander in the cross. And a, what a stop. Price comes across. And Rob, Jason Spezza. And what an athletic move for Price there as Spezza, he got the shot he wanted. He controlled it, made sure that he took a step to try to put it in the wide open net. Watch that plant and then just reach with the stick in desperation, gets there, and oh man. You know, that's one that is, Jason Spezza, he's thinking, I better get this up, better not put it along the ice. That's one time that maybe along the ice would have been in the back of the net. That's, that's it. That's one of the greatest saves I've ever seen in my entire life. How? How did that, how? Gary Price, I, I don't even want to say paddle. I don't I don't even want to say paddle save Emporium. He stopped that with like a, a strand of hockey tape on the paddle. Never count out Gary Price ever in your life. That's a hat pick. But game four of that series, Alexander Galchenyuk, who is a Leaf by the way, two spectacular assists, but this one was the best. Jake Muzzin there to flip it ahead, Kerfoot. Able to catch up with that, but over the line with Galchenyuk in front. The pass scores! Pretty tic-tac go, and it's William Nylander again. Well, Nylander's the recipient of just a beautiful play in the middle of the ice, and Gallagher almost is offside. I'm, I'm sure Dominic Ducharme's going to look at this. In the old rules, this probably would have been offside. You saw the lift of the leg, but Galchenyuk, the no-look pass as Kerfoot puts it between the stick and skates and then the drop pass as Price is coming over to his right. Are you telekinetic? I don't know what's more impressive, Alex Galchenyuk even getting that pass off or William Nylander uh, even expecting it. How do you see a guy facing the other way and you're like, ah yes, this is about to come to me, it's me time. Unbelievable. 
that's a hat pick. And you know what? We can't look past a couple amazing Habs highlights from game one. I know it feels like a while ago, but because of the way the hat picks videos and the dates, and you know how it goes, just watch. First and foremost, tie game in the third period. Carey Price two on one. And Kerfoot's gonna clear it up to center ice. Knocked off the stick of Edmondson. Here's Marner and Nylander. Back to Marner, and Carey Price comes across with a game saver. And he gets a tap from both his teammates there. The emotions high to Foley going after it with Kerfoot. You saw Campbell fight in his crease. Now a quick little transition, a flip pass, which is hard to handle for Edmondson. Now you got a two on one. One pass right back on the doorstep and Marner got all that one. Look, he went down on one knee, got down on that bottom hand to make sure he got enough of it. But Carey Price sliding across. All you need to know about Carey Price as a goaltender is that isn't even the most impressive save he made in this video. That's a hat pick. And then later on in that same game, Paul Byron short-handed. A minute left in this third lead power play and it's Matthews in. Drops for Thornton, checked on the play and turned back by Armia with speed. Paul Byron gets there, done, scored! What a brilliant goal by Paul Byron short-handed. Chris, the best team in the National Hockey League during the regular season shorthanded. They scored nine times. And what happens, you get a minute 15 into a power play and you're unable to gain the line and get it deep. Thornton gets the back pass here by Matthews. Great job though of Armia just chipping it away. And this is a foot race that is hard one to win. Sandine with the little trip of fire. Spec. Spectacular. Not just from his knees, but like look at how he changes balance and oh my goodness, this is impressive. That's not an accident. They say you make your own luck, but that saying can't be applied here. That was not luck. That's a hat pick. For our next hat pick, we go to the Bruins Capital Series and producer Drew's note here is Pasta splits his own noodles and dances through. Drew, what is this? Our play. Washington was almost 30% against Boston regular season. Pasternak, beautiful move. Pasternak to the front. He scores. Highlight real stuff. Capitals standing defensively, and they allowed Pasternak to waltz around not one but two different guys and put it past the left pad of the goalie Samsonov. I mean, that is a high skill play by obviously a superstar player. Here it is. Now the Capitals try to front it, Dowd misses, then in front Jensen misses and allows him to waltz through the paint, Joe. Absolutely no chance for the goaltender Sam Sonoff. A miscue defensively, way too much room, time and space for a superstar like Pasternak. And what a slip through that was there to get around Dowd, a superstar goal. Oh, oh that, oh, jock confiscation. My goodness that play. That's a hat pick from Pasta, holy. And you know what? One more from that series, just for me. I know the Capitals are out, but ah, here's Ovechkin hitting Brad Marchand. Marchand with Ovechkin hustling back. And Ovechkin flattens Marchand, who lost his helmet. We talk about a major collision here. Marchand gets to the puck, thinks he's going to spin back in the grade eight. Ah, thanks for that. You know what, though? Marshawn getting the last laugh. Did you notice the score? Three nothing Bruins. And did you notice the Bruins are moving on to the second round? The Capitals are not. That hit, though. I'd call it a hat pick. We have like one and a half more hat picks remaining. Uh, even though the Oilers are no longer in the playoffs, they got swept. I have to give a shout out to Darnell Nurse. He played 63 minutes in a single game in game four. Seth Jones last year played 65, yes. However, that was in two and a half more periods. If this game went five overtimes like Tampa Columbus did last season, you would have had to put Darnell Nurse's shifts on two different VHS tapes. Did you like that? It's for my fellow olds, high five. But the real hat pick here, Kyle Connor sends the Edmonton Oilers packing. And now, a golden opportunity, Kyle Connor shoots and he scores! Kyle Connor! Triple overtime series winner! Can you believe it? Bring out the brooms! The Jets have swept the Oilers! Man, oh man, there, there's so much 
to unpack from this series. So much that has been said numbers wise. The Oilers outchanced the Jets. They outshot them by a wide margin on some nights and it didn't matter. You can look at the Oilers goaltending and call it bad, but Mike Smith was so good during the regular season. You can look at the Oilers defense and call that bad, but like, I, I'm sorry, are the Jets known for defense? By the way, that extremely loud no you heard someone scream in the distance is from Jets fans. Even they know it. But man, they work hard, they skate really hard, and you can't let them have the puck. Even if you have the puck more than them, they're better at finishing than you are. That's a dangerous team, my friend. Dangerous team. Don't sleep on them. They're heading to the second round. That's a hat pick. So, my friend, what did you think of this one? Let me know in the comment box down below. But for now, that is it for this one. Thank you very much for watching. Click like if you like this video. Click subscribe if you really liked it. Tell all your friends. We started with 16, but they're dropping like flies now. <laughs>